as you all know, I've been using these Civil War tin patterns that are adjustable. And the patterns that were used corresponded to the crimping boards as in this uh, this front and the patterns also corresponded to a particular last size so if I do this uh, pattern to uh, a size 10 it'll fit a Civil War 10 it will not fit uh, regular size 10 of today now, because this pattern has a very drastic L shape as opposed to the other, the other crimping board I used, you can see the difference in the front here. Now that means the boot will be able to pull straighter across the throat. Uh, this one that I'm touching right here is your conventional one, your conventional crimping board. You know, it's made to standard. They used them with a, a crimp brake I used them just with crimping, crimping screws, but I don't have the pattern for these ones. The pattern I have is what I just showed you. So I've made this other crimping board, the one underneath, and you can see how much I have to take up right there. So. This crimped front is going to have to come up to there, meaning there's going to be a lot of stretch in there. The thing is with a crimped front, if it's done correctly, the boot stands up straight. If it's not done correctly, the boot leans back. And when it's pulled straight, it has a lot of wrinkles, like those ones you see on eBay, those cheap $159 all leather. Uh, Civil War cavalry boots. You can't get anything any more far than that. Not good for your feet. They look fantastic at a distance, but then again, so would black canvas. So, the next step I'm going to do is to take the fronts that I've crimped out of this 4-5 or five oak vegetable tanned leather and I'm going to put them on uh, the board which I call the hard board. The first board is called the easy, the second one is called the hard. This is from the uh, 1860s terminology I have in my own shop manual. There's other people that use other terms. Uh, I don't use other people's terms because I don't come from their tradition of boot making. I come from a 19th century uh, aspect of boot making, not uh, a revisionist 19th century aspect. So these, these fronts here that I'm doing, and you can have a look-see. And it doesn't seem like much, but uh, that's quite a bit to pull in. And it's, it's often wise to, yeah, there it is, a little shop kitten. Uh, it's often wise to give your, your fronts an extra, an extra pull over the crimping board. See? See how nice that is? A lot of times there's wrinkles all through here 
and those wrinkles will inevitably pull the boot backwards. Uh, a lot of guys crimp them twice. Uh, I like to crimp them twice. I like to take them, get them on, uh, get them on the crimping board, and leave them on for two, three days so it really dries, and then put them on again and get everything stretched in here. Doesn't hurt the leather to stretch that. You know, you'll still have stretch going over out of the last, and you'll still have stretch when you're walking. So there's no problem with that. But a lot of people just pull them once, and they don't even pull all the wrinkles out. They just smooth it, and those wrinkles are going to show back up. Okay, I'll get off here now and then get to the next process.